The biggest difference now is that we design and build our vessels to meet mission requirements. We know that Flare Garden Banks is about 100 nautical miles offshore, and so if these guys are going to work, they're going to have to uh, transit at least 100 miles before they get to work. So in order to make this boat efficient and economically easier to operate, we employed two things. One was the foil, and the foil gives you a level of efficiency at a certain speed, and then the second was jets. To be able to handle greater sea states, you want to hire a tunnel underneath the boat. So the tunnel's a space in between the two hulls on a catamaran. So the tunnel height gives you kind of determines your sea state that you can operate in. It means that this vessel has really achieved a level of economy that we haven't seen on our other boats. And it's without a doubt the hull design, deployment of a foil, and then a profile that'll take advantage of using jets. This is a pilot house up configuration. Our other boats have a pilot house that's a half step up. This is a full level up, which creates all the space down below, which is your staterooms and your heads, all that. We were able to customize things that were hugely important to operations. For instance, if you look at the back deck, you've got these enormous dive benches with multiple dive tank racks so our divers can comfortably put their gear on those racks and also we've got a nitrox system with quick disconnect systems so you don't have to move the tanks out of the racks to fill them. We spent a lot of time and effort in designing not only the dive platform which is quite large but also the ladders. They're deep so that a diver can get their foothold solidly onto the ladder. The steps are wide because if you're in seas that are pretty rough and the ladders are going up and down you need something very solid for your feet to be on and something very solid for your hands to be grasping. Some of the gear that we have on this boat that really elevates our abilities to conduct research a-frame. We've never had access to an A-frame on our charter vessels. This A-frame will give us capabilities to launch ROVs, launch AUVs, uh, pick up buoys for buoy maintenance that are uh, the oceanographic buoys that we have out there. You can also control the line going in and out of the A-frame and you can see the tension on the line, uh, you can see the rate that the line's going out. You can see all that information right in the dry lab there. The pads that we have on the side of the boat to accommodate the mountings for the pole to conduct side scan operations, uh, put a, a transponder in the water to track an ROV. A lot of the boats that you get onto, you have to fabricate that in order to even conduct a project. We have it on the boat already. It's a plug and play system where we can put the head onto our pole and run it into the dry lab. Inside, we have readout, we put a sea keepers system onto the boat and that means that whenever we're transiting anywhere or even for that matter sitting anywhere, that system is working continuously and taking uh, temperature and salinity measurements. We're hoping to add as a benefit for researchers is to walk on board with say a hard drive and be able to download and collect all the information that the sea keepers collecting during their cruise and then walk off the boat with that information. So it's extremely valuable information. So this vessel is going to the Gulf of Mexico. It gets very hot and a lot of our operations uh, take place in the summer. So you, it'll be 120 degrees on the deck. So we have canopies that we can roll out both on the main deck and the boat deck. On the main deck it'll cover the dive benches so not only the divers and equipment will be protected, the, the ground won't be hot and stifling. Also on the top deck, that's where probably researchers will be hanging out and talking over their dive plans and talking about what they saw in their dives and even doing some equipment preparation or repair. On the front of the wheelhouse up here, we have some fall-down seas that, that's been set up for a marine mammal observing station and we also have computer access on that area so that you can plug in a computer and do data entry. In the main salon you'll see that we have a big screen LCD 
And the main purpose of that is to, to educate people, bring people on board and be able to show them and teach them about the flower garden banks. Also, once we've done a dive, we can immediately come up and uh, plug in our footage and show others what we've seen. During ROV operations, we can plug that output into that big screen so not only the pilot of the ROV is watching what's going on on the bottom, everybody else in the, in the salon area, in the dry lab area, can look at that screen and see what's going on. of everything. <laughs> I'm sure we'll think of more things. I think it makes a huge difference that the users have um, such ability for input into the design of the vessel and I think that's been really key.